Who was Sultan Malik Shah that we see in the popular Turkish series Yuanis Bayuk Saljuklu? Malik Shah was born on the 16th of August in the year 1055 in the Iranian city of Isfahan. He was from the family of the Sunni Seljuks. He is the son of the great Seljuk Sultan, Sultan Alp Arslan. After Alp Arslan's death, Malik Shah, who was declared his heir some years earlier, ascended the Seljuk throne. His tenure as Sultan lasted between 1072 to 1092. Malik Shah did not access the throne peacefully and had to fight his uncle, Gawurt, who claimed the throne. Although Malik Shah was the nominal head of the Seljuk state, Nizamul Mulk held near absolute power during his reign. Malik Shah is recorded to have had three wives, Tarkan Hatun, Zubayda Hatun, and Dajuddin Hatun. He also had 10 children, some of which we already know from the show Yuanis Bayuk Saljuklu, such as Ahmed Sanjar, Zapar, Baykaru, and Mayal Mulk. According to the 12th century Persian historian Muhammad bin Ali Rawandi, Malik Shah had fair skin, was tall, and somewhat bulky. In 1064, Malik Shah, only nine years old by then, along with Nizam al Mulk, the Persian vizier of the empire, took part in Alp Arslan's campaign in Caucasus. The same year, Malik Shah was married to Tarkan Hatun, the daughter of the Gara Khanid, Khan Ibrahim Tamja Khan. In 1066, Alp Arslan arranged a ceremony near Merv where he appointed Malik Shah as his heir and also granted him Isfahan. In 1072, Malik Shah and Nizam al Mulk accompanied Alp Arslan during his campaign in Transoxiana against the Gara Khanids. However, Alp Arslan was badly wounded during this expedition, and Malik Shah shortly took over the army. Alp Arslan died some days later, and Malik Shah was declared as the new Sultan of the Empire. However, right after Malik Shah's ascension, his uncle Gawurt claimed the throne for himself and sent Malik Shah a message which said, I am the eldest brother and you are a youthful son. I have a greater right to my brother Alp Arslan's inheritance. Malik Shah then replied by sending the following message. A brother does not inherit where there is a son. This message enraged Gawurt, who thereafter occupied Isfahan. In 1073, a battle took place near Hamadan, which lasted three days. Gawurt was accompanied by his seven sons and his army consisted of Turkmen's while the army of Malik Shah consisted of Ghulams, uh, i.e. military slaves, and contingents of Kurdish and Arab troops. During the battle, the Turks of Malik Shah's army mutinied against him, but he nevertheless managed to defeat and capture Gawurt. Gawurt then begged for mercy, and in return promised to retire to Oman. However, Nizam al-Mulk declined the offer, claiming that sparring him was an indication of weakness. After some time, Gawurt was strangled to death with a bowstring, while two of his sons were blinded. After having dealt with that problem, Malik Shah appointed Gutsluk Zegin as the governor of Fars and Saul Zegin as the governor of Karman. Malik Shah died on the 19th of November 1092 while he was hunting. He was most likely poisoned by the caliph or some even speculate the supporters of Nizam al-Mulk. Under the orders of Turkan Hatun, Malik Shah's body was taken back to Isfahan, where it was buried in a madrasa. Upon his death, the Seljuk Empire fell into chaos, as rival successors and regional governors carved up their empire and waged war against each other. The situation within the Seljuk lands was further complicated by the beginning of the First Crusade, which detached large portions of Syria and Palestine from Muslim control in, 1090, in 1098 and 1099. The success of the First Crusade is at least in part attributable to the political confusion which resulted from Malik Shah's death. So Malik Shah, he was the great Seljuk Sultan of his era and his legacy lives on even today. We see in the show Yuanis Bayuk Seljuklu how pivotal uh, his presence is. He has such an immense aura about him and uh, it takes you back to those times a thousand years back. Just imagine, it's absolutely incredible. So I'll leave you that with um, just a brief history um, about Sultan Malik Shah and uh, perhaps in, in the future I might go a bit more deeper with regards to uh, this topic and if you guys did enjoy this, do um, like this video and comment below if you would like to, you know, see uh, further series like this and with that said do like this video do subscribe to this channel and catch you in the next one inshallah